Hi, first grade. We're going to jump right into our project. Thank you for being so patient during our expectations video. So I asked you guys to walk in and pick up one color of your favorite color. If you didn't know already, my favorite color is yellow, like the sun. It's energetic. It always makes me happy. With whatever you have, so if you brought a pencil today, that would be perfect. Or if you don't have a pencil, use a crayon or marker. I need you to write your name in the bottom left-hand corner of that paper. So I'm going to write Mr. Boatfield because obviously that's my name. But if your name is Jet, write Jet. If your name is Mrs. Bush, write Mrs. Bush. And then in the bottom right-hand corner, I need you to write your class code. I will pause the video and give you your class code now. Okay, so now I want you to remove everything from your table except for the piece of paper. Of course, we're going to be using it. We're going to be making prints. So remember, that's when you take something from one surface and move it to another. We did aluminum foil printing where we drew on it, and then we stuck a piece of paper on it, and it went to the other piece of paper. It moved. We transferred it. So it's kind of like painting, kind of like drawing, but not really. It's kind of hard to explain, but we're going to explore it more today. So all you should have on your table is your piece of paper and then this random little bit of rainbow colors. Give me a thumbs up when your bag is on the floor. All right, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be doing some junk printing. So in a moment, I'm gonna have each table walk up to the middle table and pick up three items. Or I might actually keep these on the back counter. You're gonna pick up a piece of cardboard, random, a marker cap left behind by a student, shame on you, but I collected it. And then a Q-tip. This is what we use to clean our ears. Don't you clean your ears with it. Don't clean your nose. Don't clean your mouth. Ew. We're going to use it for printing today. So each one of these has a special texture and a special surface. So you can see that this one has a line on it. This one's a circle. This one's kind of a cute little dot. You're going to be using that to create a mandala. So we did a mandala one week when I was on quarantine. And you're going to be creating a pattern mandala. It's going to start from the middle and go outward. It's totally up to you. It should be a lot of fun. Here's how it works. You're going to share this with your partner. Please don't touch it like I am. You just put it in the middle of each other. And because you're not touching the paint palette, you're not exchanging germs. So it works out. I usually start out with a shape right in the middle. I'm just going to do a little dot with my little red. Put it right in the middle. Boing. And then you get to create stuff around it. You don't have to go in the rainbow order. I'm just going to take my cardboard and go in. I'm using kind of like a paintbrush and make some patterns. Now, you don't have to do a mandala. Maybe you want to do your own scene. Maybe you have this idea, um, or you want to make like a building or a city. That's fine too. This is just how I planned it. I planned on doing a mandala. Now, maybe I want to go into the yellow, but look, my page is yellow. Don't worry about cleaning your tools. We're going to throw away the cardboard. We're going to throw away the Q-tip. The only thing we're going to keep for another class is the marker, but we got to let it sit out and dry so that the next person doesn't pick up a wet marker cap. And I'm just going to keep on going. I'm going to make this really cool. The cool thing about it is you can always go back and add a little bit more, make it a little bit more interesting. Let's try out the marker cap before I go. Let's do some greens. Ooh la la. And so you can just get so lost in these. You never quite know what it's going to look like. Here's your challenge, though. Can you get all the way to the outside of the paper and fill this up? I can. I'm going to do a time lapse real quick, and I'll be right back. Ooh la la, check it out. So you can use those items in a really unique way. You can overlap them, you can make a zigzag line, you could drag them and kind of draw with them, but fill up the paper until you reach the very, very end. And I wanna see how different you can make yours. You can repeat a pattern, you can change the pattern. I did some areas where I changed the color or I changed the type of junk I was using. When you are done, there's two things I want you to do. First, I want you to throw away these two things, your ear cleaner, and your cardboard. Do not throw away the marker cap. For those new to Christy, we have three trash cans in the front. Just throw it away in the one closest to you. Marker cap just goes back with the markers. Don't throw it away because I can reuse it once I sanitize them. And of course, when you're done, you need to take this with both hands. I'm just going to use one because obviously I'm holding a phone in the other. Put this on the drying rack. We need to print. We need to put our print on the top or should we put our print on the bottom? I hope you said the bottom. And then, of course, as people start flooding this up, they 
it goes up to the top. Of course, when you are done, your partner still might be working, so don't worry about the paint. But I do want you to get a wet wipe from the middle table, and I want you to clean your hands, get those nasties, and clean the table. If your partner's still working, please be patient while they work. If both of you are done, you can place this paint tray near the sinks back there. Just put it on the counter and I'll take care of it. I might have someone clean them out for us too. While you are waiting for your partner to finish or you yourself are done and cleaned up your table, take a piece of free draw. It's next to my mailbox and you can free draw what you like after you create your mandala. Have fun today, guys. I'm excited to see what you create.